After their quarterfinal win, Team USA moves into the tournament's main venue, Hartwell Arena. The change of scenery reminds the team how far they've come in this tournament. This rink, however, has a larger sheet of ice than in Helsinki Ice Hall, so that will be one adjustment the team needs to make going into their semifinal game against Russia. The team knows how important it is to use this one practice before their semifinal matchup to get used to the new ice. Team USA is able to get some downtime, and many members of the team head down to the hotel's Xbox Player Lounge for some NHL 16. But before they know it, it's game day against Russia. Russia has eliminated the U.S. in the quarterfinals at the past two tournaments. This is a huge game for the U.S. where they hope to finally get that win over a strong Russian squad. The team hits the ice and are anxious to get going. They're able to get on the board first with a great goal by Christian Dvorak. They face some penalty trouble in the first, but are able to kill off a Russian 5-on-3 advantage due to strong defense and incredible stops by goalie Alex Nadelkovich. Unfortunately, their lead doesn't hold, and Russia is able to sneak by with a 2-1 to -one win. It's a pretty tough pill to swallow, honestly. Um, you know, two years in a row. Um, you know, we, we gotta forget about it. Prepare for tomorrow. It's uh, you know, you're playing for your country, you're playing for some pride. So uh, you know, Sweden beat us once before, and uh, you know, we gotta get prepared and um, you know, come at them hard and try to win. They will face off against Sweden in the bronze medal game, and know bringing home any hardware is better than nothing. An unbelievable thing to do. Um, I'm just really excited for this opportunity to be here. But I mean, if we're gonna go, I want I want to come back with a medal, absolutely. After a quick morning skate, they're back at Hartwell for their final game of the tournament. USA scores the first two goals of the game, but Sweden is able to tie it up before the end of the first. Then, in the second and third periods, USA takes control of the game and wins 8-3. This team is the ninth U.S. team to medal at World Juniors and the first team since 2013. It's a huge accomplishment to bring home some hardware from this tournament, and although it's not gold, the team is still incredibly proud and honored. Team USA has had a strong team throughout the tournament and their hard work paid off. But with the tournament ending, general manager Jim Johansson knows it's already time to start preparing for the 2017 tournament. Uh, obviously a, a great end of the tournament with the, the bronze medal and uh, I think every year we come to this tournament with high expectations of our team and uh, it's a, a great competition that you see on the ice so I think uh, uh, one term ends and the next year begins.